all right once again want to give all praises to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that grew well Waha Rokwa Kodash you know this is Brother Koda once again coming to do another vid all right warning the nation of Israel and today the the you women right I haven't yet gotten a name for this video but it's based on you women and the tribulations all you're going and face right right it's based on on roughly paraphrasing what Trump said you understand that that he's going to pass the law where he's going to done away with child support right now if that is true and child support is going to be done away with right what you women really going and do in them days right because it's showing that the prophecy is coming to pass right because the scriptures say that you women the, the, the pleasant things will be cut off from all here. And this child support is a pleasant thing to all here. You know, because all here does, does put man in court just to get our child support money. You understand? That is one of the pleasant things. Let us bring out a scripture here where it says, um, Isaiah 32 verse 9, Rise up. Ye women that are at ease, and that is all your black women, mainly all your black women, you understand? Of the nation of Israel, right? that is mainly all your, you understand? Because right now all your at ease, you understand? That video was done showing that this is basically all your kingdom because all your align all yourself with Esau, you understand? And eating and drinking of his delicacies right and the price to pay is opening all your leg for this devil you understand because why it is he just give all your a slice of bread off of your table you understand it's only because all your could open all your leg and open all your mouth to him you understand that is why he saw the street all your and how they are feeling like there's all your kingdom you understand yeah right i'll read it again it says rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice ye careless daughters you understand all the careless the reason why all the careless is because all they're not watching and seeing these signs of things to come you understand all the careless give ear to my speech many days and many years shall ye be troubled ye careless women for the vintage shall fail the gathering will not come you understand and by this law coming into play where um he will cut off child support you understand that is the 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 gathering and coming in day because the the money that all they're expecting wouldn't be coming you understand yeah the finer things that all you want wouldn't be coming. You understand? Reading on. Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled ye careless women. Strip you bare. Strip you and make you bare. And girdle and gird sackcloth upon your loins. You understand? When it says strip you and make you bare. All you will be in want. You understand? In having no food. You know? In basically in having nothing or they're starving and what are going to make all you do they're going to make all you prostitute all yourself you understand strip bare to the, to the men that all you feel go give all your thing as it done start to happen already you understand because the streets in Trinidad you understand where all the, the, the nation of Israel come in well I shouldn't say all the nation of Israel but um the venezuelans coming over here and doing what prostituting the body 
You understand? And that is soon to take hold on all the nation of Israel, the women. You understand? Or well, they will be prostituting all their body. You understand? For things to eat. Right? Because all they're, all they're not taking heed at the word. I have a bash, I was shy. All they're. Would you women and things be parading all yourself in the streets proud? You know? Like this is all your heaven. Right? But destruction coming to this earth, it done start already. You understand? And and tears will be running from all your face. Right? Continually when all you see how real it is. Right? Reading on. They shall lament for the teats and for the pleasant field for the fruitful vine. You understand? That is all your money, all your nice clothes. You understand? Man come in and give all your two, three thousand dollars when, when the month up. All these things going and fail, all these things going and come to, to naught. Right? And what they're going and do in them days. You understand? All they're going and cry and wheel. You understand? Basically, no. All you're moving like all your can be touched. You understand? Women um, walking in the street with, with clothing that you're seeing, the, the breast nipples and all that kind of thing showing. In these days, which these days is soon to come upon the earth, as I say, don't start already. Right? Just in Trinidad, a Venezuelan woman got raped, ravaged in the streets. You understand? And that is just the beginning of sorrow for all the women. Right? Just the other day, a Venezuelan came down here and she got ravaged in the streets. You understand? And what gonna make the men ravage all the way all their dress? You understand? Because a proper woman supposed to be covered from head to toe. You understand? But all your all your women wear including that men see in all their body. You understand? Seeing how fat the thing is between all their legs, seeing all their breasts, you understand? And that is what going to lead two thirds of Israel and other men that do have the law, you understand? That going to lead men to ravish all their in the streets because all their all their not pertaining all their self to the laws covering all their body, you understand? trouble coming upon this earth for the women you know because all the women do want to take heed to the word of the lord right when when men tell all the thing all they always have plaster for every soul always have something to, to see you understand but in them the right this is um Revelation, I mean, um, Selah, Jeremiah 9, verse 20, 20 and 21. Yet hear the word of Yahweh, O ye women, and let your heir receive the word of his mouth, and teach your daughters wailing and every one her neighbor lamentation. Why to teach all your daughters wailing? You understand? Because the men will be ravishing all you. You understand? All they ain't go have nothing to eat. You understand? And basically, that meat between all your leg is going to be all your new currency. You understand? In the sense that all you is going to be using that. You understand? To, to, to eat and to, and to gather things onto all yourself. You understand? That is all how all they're gonna be living. You know? Because if a man it, it, it even start now, you could see it now. You understand? If all they ain't give up all their all their vagina, man ain't gain all their nothing. You understand? And that is how most of you women live in today. You understand? By using that that meat between all your leg as currency. You understand? as a way to receive 
the, the, the pleasant things. You understand? Yeah. So teach all your, all your daughters lamentation because these times is upon us. You understand? These times is upon us. You understand? Teach all your daughters wailing. Teach them how to cry and beg. You understand? Because that is what going to happen basically in the days. The men will not give a fuck about all you again. You understand? Especially when the, when the government collapse. Because all your strong tower is the, the, the police stations and the courts. That is all your strong tower. You understand? But these things are going to fail all you. And what they're going to do in the end because eh, police and all will be raping all you. You understand? When the government fail and, and basically there are no police and thing again, who do you think going to ravage all you? The same police that all you was running to in the earlier days. You understand? All the system going and fail. You understand? All, all your way of, of pleasant trees going and cease to so like, yeah, going and cease to exist all 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 your way of pleasant trees you understand going and cease to exist you understand yeah because all you women who like to cling to, to the so-called bad boy and them all these bad boys and them gonna die you understand these bad boys and them gonna be bitches and daddy you understand we don't know in um 20 and 21 Jeremiah 9 and 21 for the death is come for death is come up into our windows and is entered into our place to cut off the children from without and the young men from the streets and who does be in the streets them bad boy and them you understand all these men gonna die because all the women like to flock to these to these men you understand these men gonna die you understand? These men going and die. These these men will not be all their hiding place in them day. In them day, all they will be bare. You understand? Because back in Isaiah 32 and 2, it say that a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. But you have to ask yourself what that question. What kind of man going and be a hiding place from the wind? And that is only the men of the Lord. The men who take hundred percent of this truth. You understand? Them is the men who go and be a hiding place. Them is the men who are going and seek out for safety. You understand? To protect all you. You know? This thing's serious. And all your women, because because the men of the Lord just be preaching, we just be preaching and seeing how all your women parading on themselves. Like it's a joke. Like when we talking about it going and come to pass. But hey, it is going and come to pass. You understand? And just as the watchmen seeing it already in play, and all they ain't seeing it yet, just now all they will be seeing it. You understand? Yeah. This is um Jeremiah 13 and 6. Right? Just now all they will be seeing it. Right? All they're thinking that this thing is a joke. Right, Jeremiah 13 and 6. Alright. I read 6 and jump to 16. And it says, Howl ye, for the day of Yahweh is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Right? So all these cruelty that all you're going on face, who you think sending it? Is the Almighty sending that all your way? You understand Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai? Because at the end of the day, all your all the women out of all their mind and out of place. And all they need to get back in all their right mind. You understand? And these terrors, you understand, that coming upon the earth will make all their things differently. You understand? Jump into um, to 16. Their children shall also be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravish in the streets now that was talking about the men but this pertaining to all the women as well 
You understand? Or they're gonna be ravished in the streets. You understand? Or all their, all their children will be will be dying in front of all you. You understand? Via hunger and, and other things. You understand? Basically it will have no hiding place. More than more than the men of the Lord. You understand? It will have no hiding place for them. Right? Because as I say, all they're taking this thing for joke. But this ain't no joke. Alright? Isaiah 4 and 1. In that day seven women shall grab hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Because all the women does already be saying that all they don't need no man. You understand? That all the independent, independent, strong black woman, that is how they like to talk. Woman power. You understand? But the scriptures do lie. This is one book that don't lie. You understand? Nothing in this book is a lie. You understand? All the prophecies in this book will come to pass. You know? And all the women will be, be looking to the men of the Lord for safety. You understand? Because we have met plenty women in their in their proudness talking about oh they don't need a man and they could protect their own self but in that day we will see how much all they could protect all yourself you understand because that day will come cruelly on all you you understand that tears will always have to be running from all your face when all you see how how real it is you know For the most high do play. The most high do play. Let us bring out a quick precept in, in Habakkuk. It says, this is um, Habakkuk 2. Yeah, Habakkuk 2. And I read two and three. It says, And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. You understand? That appointed time is now. Right? And at the end it shall speak and not lie. Do it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. You understand? And that dear cruelty for all the women will surely come. You understand? I think going on tarry as we don't see it happening. Why all you feel all them women fleeing from Venezuela to come down here? You understand? It's because the finer things over there, the vintage, you understand? The the money. You understand? The nice clothes, the wine, the, the food. You understand steak all these things cease ceasing over there all these things coming to note over there that is why they run into other countries you understand to eat that is why selling the body is like nothing you understand and all you don't know is that this is going to overtake the whole world you understand because right now everybody running to Trinidad you understand? But what going to happen when the finer things in Trinidad come to an end? You understand? This going to overtake the whole world. All the women going to feel pain and wrath in that day. The wrath of the most high. You understand? Because of how proud all there is. You understand? And feeling that oh, all there could come past a man and all there over the man. You understand? Feeling that a man can tell all there nothing. You understand? When the Lord didn't make Adam for Eve, he made he made Eve for Adam. He made the woman for the man. He didn't make the man for the woman. You understand? He made all there for us. But all they want to be proud and act like all they don't need the men. You understand? And that is why the most high bring in this judgment upon all there. You understand? To show all there that all they need men. You understand? Because that was all their purpose, all their purpose, all they was created to please the man. 
understand? In Genesis, it says that um, Eve was created as a help meet for Adam. You understand? And that is all your creation right there as a help meet for the man. All it was created for the man. You understand? But all they want to act all proud and like all they don't need man. You understand? Woman power and, and, and all these kinds of things. These kind of things come into our end. You understand? Thus say the Lord. These things come into our end. You understand? Let's get a precept in. Lamentation here. Yeah. Let's bear with me a few a few seconds and I find it. Alright. All your women out of all your mind. Out of order. Alright, this is Lamentation 5 and 11. And it says they ravish the woman. In Zion and the maids in the city of Judah, right? All the women could not be ravished in the city of so called Sodom and Egypt. You understand? All the women could not be ravished and taken at, at advantage of greatly. All the sorrows will be multiplied in that day because of all their choosing. To disobey the man of the Lord and to disobey the word of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You know, or they choose to disobey, or they, or they choose to obey the white man. You understand? Because basically, is all they does follow, all they see, all they, all they really do have no faith too. You understand? It's what they see, all they see in the white man at pleasant trees, and all they flock to he. You understand? While the men are the Lord telling all of the destruction to come by all the inner time of that because why? To all in all their mindset, all they in seeing that. You understand? But as I read in Habakkuk, the vision will come to pass. You understand? He didn't say that it might come to pass, he said it will come to pass. As we don't see it happening already. Women being raped, you're finding multiple women in in, in um in ditch and drain and all kind of thing women being kidnapped and you ain't finding them again but these things is going to be multiplied greatly upon the earth you understand where all your women will be will be terrified out of all their mind all right this is um second Ezra 16 i read Eight, it says the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues and who is he that can drive them away you know nobody could drive away the plagues of the Most High sending and the Most High sending sorrow all the way you understand which the scriptures say teach your daughters lamentation teach them to cry teach them to wail and beg you understand because the plagues of the Most High is upon all you all your, all, your, all your careless women, as the scriptures call all you, right? A fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? You understand? As we as lawyer you know, this is the Most High movie. The Most High do whatever he want. Everything created in heaven and in earth have to bend to the Most High will nothing could derive outside the most high's will you understand nothing everything have to bend to the most high will including you women because the most high will is to bring wrath and judgment upon all you you understand that is the will of the most high right i read 14 it says Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return again until they are come upon the earth. 
these things, as I say in Habakkuk division, you understand? These things coming up on the earth. It don't start. Right? It don't start. Verse 17. Woe is me. Woe is me. Who will deliver me in them days? That is all the women go be seen. You understand? Who will deliver we? That is why all they go be running. Seven women to one man. That is why all they go be running. Helter skelter for safety. You understand? All the, all, all the women who like to buck up against all their husband and talk shit. Or the woman will be running for, for safety because it will have men coming after all you. Yeah. You understand? So they're going to seek out the, the men of the most high for safety. You understand? And that is the beginning of all you coming back in all your right mind. You understand? Verse 18. The beginning of sorrows and great mourning. The beginning of famine. You understand? Or they're going to, as I say, sorrow going to come upon all you. Yeah. Great famine, or they will be hungry, nothing to eat, because all of them men are gonna die in the wars. You understand? As the scripture foretold, all them bad boy and them who are they dealing on because they had the hair, money, guns, you understand? Ganja, all them things gonna come to an end, all these bad boys gonna die out. You understand? What gonna be all their end after that? Right? The beginning of famine, beginning of great debt, the beginning of wars, the beginning of and the power powers shall stand in fear. Right? All them men and them who feel they have great power because they might have a two three AK rest down. These men gonna stand in great fear. You understand? Basically these men will be like women in them days. You understand? the beginning of evil what shall i do when these evils shall come what are you gonna do when this evil come you understand jump into verse 33 the virgin shall mourn having no bridegrooms you understand that's what i was now saying all them men gonna die in the wars you understand the woman shall mourn having no husbands these men gonna die out you understand who going in fema camps you know so basically all they will be left standing alone you understand so let me see how much all they don't need a man when all they're standing alone you understand to, to survive by all yourself let me see how much all they would need a man all right their daughters shall mourn having no helpers basically all they will have nobody to give all the nothing you understand no helpers so what are they going to do? Right? Are the woman proud now? Because see how proud are they going to be in that day? Right? Verse 34. In the wars shall their bridegrooms be destroyed, and their husband shall perish of famine. All these men who are they depending on go and die because they're hungry. That's why the scriptures say, My chosen shall eat, but all they will starve. You understand the Lord telling you that his men he will take care of his men and daddy you understand but the men who lean not who lean on their own understanding and who lean not on Yahweh Bahash and Yahweh Shai you understand these men gonna die in the famine because why this scripture say famine you understand there's two kind of famine that will come a famine of the wood and a famine of food you understand because just now, these, as the scriptures say, your eyes shall, shall see your teachers. Or they wouldn't see all the teachers no more in them days. You understand? That is why all they will be um, looking all over for these men. You understand? Yeah. All they, all them, all their so-called strong towers going to be destroyed in the, in the wars and in the famine. Understand because all they choose not to harken back onto the most high, right? Now, let's read two quick um, precepts again before I close it off, right? This is Matthew 24 and 21, right? Matthew 24 and 21. 
For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. You understand? There is great tribulation, a time of great tribulation. You understand? What other women do watch? The watchmen are the Lord seeing it coming. But what they're seeing? The next boat ride, the next party. Just last night I go in home in a car and hear a woman talking about the next party coming. You understand? And, and that we don't miss that. We ain't missing that. The next party, that is what they're looking at. Right? The men are the most high looking at the end times and seeing the end join near. You understand? This is Luke 21, verse 22 and 23. And it says, For these be the days of vengeance, that all things which are written may be fulfilled. And what did the, the apostles of Great Millstone nickname this year? The year of prophecy. And we see in it being fulfilled. We see in the prophecies coming to pass. We see in it. You understand? But as I see, all of the women seeing is the next boat ride. You understand? And seeing where they could open all their vagina to get two thousand or three thousand dollars. That is that is what they're seeing. Because all they're living carnally. But these men living by faith. You understand? All the women basically have no faith. You understand? So all they're seeing is carnal things, things right before their eyes. But these men see in the end times. You understand? Because these men live in by feet. Right? Reading on in verse 20, 20, 23. But woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. For there shall be great distress in the land, and wrought upon this people. Because what let us do? Every minute or they want to pop out babies. You understand? Not giving air to the end times. You understand? Or they see a man and they want to hook him. You understand? So they gave him two, three babies and then put him in court for him to pay child support. But all what I tell you now, these things come into our end. You understand? Woe be unto all you. But all they do read the scriptures, so we had to bring it out and show all the what going on. You understand? All you women who like to say that oh, all is God and all the men have to bow down and worship all you yeah? are coming up in a car and I hear a man saying it too. You understand? Oh, he prays the woman. He worship the woman. You understand? Basically, he's saying he worship them too. You know, good looking Elamites in the back. You understand? And that way he telling them, a Jake. You understand? And that because all they do abound in the scriptures. You understand? Oh, he prays them. You understand? So, you women, all your days numbered. You understand? Agony, destruction, death, that is will coming towards all your because all your proud. You understand? Every way you look at a woman, you see seeing the proudness on them now. You understand? But in that day to come, you will not know proudness again. You understand? In that day to come, it will be fear. You understand? So, I hope this was edificational to the elect, you know. And I just want to say once again, giving all the praises to Yahweh, Basham Yahweh Shai, Wahara Kwakodash, right? Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Salutations to the elect, the goodly men pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. This is Brother Kwada saying Shalom until next time.